Hello, I'm standing just at the doorway of my studio and I cannot fit this whole thing in, but if you saw my little shorts that I put out this week, this is the curio cabinet I found on the side of the road. People were emptying their garage and they'd put this out onto hard rubbish for the truck to come around and crush to smithereens. We actually chatted to them and asked if they minded if we took it and they said no go ahead grab it so here it is it's got a new home I can't believe this was being thrown out it's got to be worth money solid wood furniture always is and this is a really nice piece what I noticed afterwards is it's even got a little face on it like a little creature on it look at it it's so cute <laughs> but if I open it up with this handy little catch it folds out and inside are all these little cubby holes. It's got so many little spaces. It's like a curio cabinet or an apothecary cabinet, but I just fell in love with it immediately. And I'm going to fill it today, so let's get into it. It's actually not the only piece of furniture we found over the weekend. There's something else which made it into the studio. Over here, we found this lovely chest of drawers and that was also on the side of the road. It had rained a bit, but because it's solid wood, it didn't get into it too much. And so we rescued it, set it outside for a day or two to dry, and it's pretty much as good as gold. At the moment, I've just shoved a whole bunch of paper in here, all of my sketchbooks and things. I do need to sort this out properly. I am on the lookout for a second one of these, which is going to replace these drawers here. I just have gotten a bit tired of the wire drawers because you could see everything inside and it just looks really messy. So here is a pile of stuff that needs to be sorted. That pile has grown a little bit smaller. It was filling the entirety of this area so I'm slowly sorting it but this is for another time so I'm keeping an eye out for another chest of drawers I'm sure I'll find one eventually because people just keep chucking stuff out at the moment back to this beauty in the comments some of you did actually figure out what I'm going to put in here so I'll go to the other parts of my studio where I'm storing things and this lovely neat unit <laughs> I have a whole stack of little notebooks they're ones that I picked up a few years ago there was a big sale at a fancy store and they were just getting rid of everything so of course I went a bit crazy and just bought a whole bunch for a piffling amount. But there's all these little decomposition books and I think I've got some field notes. So they're all little notebooks that can be used with pens and I've used a few of them but I still have an enormous amount to get through. Uh, I can't bear to get rid of them so I think I'm going to put them into my cabinet but that's not all. In my Alex drawers, which predominantly hold coloured pencils, I have a drawer here, which is all of my fountain pen inks, and I thought these would look amazing in that cabinet, so you're correct, it's going to be my fountain pen cabinet with inks, notebooks, and possibly my fountain pens. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to see what I can get in there, and hopefully it's just going to look really awesome. I just can't wait to do this. I have so many other videos that I'm kind of filming and organising at the moment, but they're all on hold so that I can do this, because there's no way I can wait another week. <laughs> Alright, let's get this lot into my cabinet. Here are all of my inks that I've pulled out of the drawer, and I really need to figure out where I'm going to put them. The larger bottles are not so difficult, but I've also got all these tiny bottles which are from the Diamine Ink Vent calendars. I've got two years worth in there, so I'll have to experiment with what goes where. As you can imagine, it took me quite a long time to decide which bottles went where. I started off with that cute little bottle with feet, which is by Diamine, and then I'm putting in some of my fancy black inks into this right-hand one. I kept changing my mind as to what went where, but I think those ones stayed put. I'm pretty sure the one with feet ended up moving though. <laughs> and here's one of my favourite sets of bottles that comes in a pair, Schrodinger and Cat. Although I really wish the cat was the bigger bottle of the two, but look, it's so cute. Those are by Colorverse, and they have all sorts of weird and wonderful science-y bottles. Now I've got all of my Diatramentus inks to put away. These ones are waterproof inks, so they're really great to put in fountain pens, especially if you want to paint over them. They all went together in one little cubby hole with plenty of room to spare, which is great. A few people pointed out in the comments of my little shorts video 
that this is actually a DVD cabinet, which is nowhere near as exciting as a curio cabinet, but I'm pretty sure you're right, though I think it can also fit CDs and VHS tapes in the middle there on those taller ones. So the diamine inks, they're actually pronounced diamine. I looked it up just now. I've been calling them diamine for years. Uh, how embarrassing. And I'm probably still going to interchange that because I can never remember. These ones are Robert Oster inks. These are actually made in Australia and I really need to get some more of them because I clearly do not have enough. <laughs> but the Melbourne Pen Show is coming up later this month and I have a feeling they might be sponsoring it. So if I end up going, I'll probably end up bringing home some more inks or something. Who would know? I've got some Koeko inks here. They're all a bit damaged and I got these really, really cheap because they were in a clearance sale and I think I paid a dollar a bottle, something like that. I don't mind them looking a bit messy if they're that cheap. The ink is still perfectly fine inside and I just picked up whatever they had, one of each colour. They fit in here just right, so I don't think I need to get any more of those for now. <laughs> then I'm starting to get to the single bottles, and I originally stuck these two in with Schrodinger and Cat, but I decided pretty quickly that I didn't like the layout of that, so they had to come out and go somewhere else. Ah oh, gosh, I spent so long overthinking this, as you can probably imagine. I kept shuffling bottles around until I was happy with the configuration. This is still not right. I don't know why I didn't think that the gold diamine bottle with the feet could go with these two black diamine bottles. I don't even think that I've done that yet, so I'm definitely going to have to get into my cabinet again and move them around again. <laughs> The bottles going in now are the cheap Kmart ones which are actually really good. They're so cute and I put those on their own little shelf too. And then I had some more room on the shelf so I decided that I would put the two single bottles there. I think this worked out okay. Moving on to my small bottles of ink and this fit in here perfectly. Totally unplanned but I'll take it. That has samples and 2019 diamond ink bottles. This is the 2021 set of them and they fit in perfectly as well. I'm so happy about that. Well that's all of my inks in. And I've even managed to put in my fountain pens. So I've got a couple of cases over here that have fountain pens. I've also got this leather case which has four of them in there and a special fountain pen in there. There's still loads of room on the shelves if I want to add more in. I am getting one of these archive inks again because this one's starting to run low and I figured I'd get another one. So I will fit it in this little cubby hole here. I just like the Schrodinger and Cat on their own for now even though I could easily fit more things in there. But now I'm going to fill some of these other spaces with my notebooks. Oh gosh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I need to sort those out. I'm very miffed. This book I have with Tomori River paper in that really thin stuff, designed for fountain pens, is just too big. It fits in that way, but it sticks out too much, and now this side of the cabinet won't close. So this is going to have to stay on my other bookshelf. Doll. Maybe I'll just sit it up on top of the cabinet. <laughs> I don't know. I'll leave it there for now. A short while later that book was joined by many others as I took them all off that other shelving unit and just stacked them here so that I can go through them properly and decide what goes where. It's a ridiculous amount of notebooks. No one needs this many, but I also found a whole bunch more in another drawer which was in my office. These moleskin notebooks are really lovely. I got those on heavily discounted price, maybe a dollar or two each, but they fit into the taller cubby here really well and they are exactly the right depth. I could not have picked that better. I was able to fit in the majority of my notebooks into this cabinet and it's just like this cabinet was built for my notebook collection. I mean, they just look amazing and I just can't believe my luck at finding this cabinet. Hopefully now I'll actually use some of these notebooks. Here's what I have in the end. I put that Tomori River notebook up the top on a little picture frame stand. So that will do for now. Let's take a look at what's inside my lovely cabinet. So I've got all of my fountain pen inks, all of my notebooks, and my fountain pens in here, plus a few extra little bits and pieces which I thought I'd put in because I have quite a lot of space left over. Room to grow in it, I'm so happy about that. On this side I have most of my fountain pens in the cases. A bunch of ink samples, little cartridges, my swatch cards, and also these are the bottles from the 2019 Inkvent calendar. 
I decided to put in my two boxes of flower postcards because I thought they would look quite nice there. These are just a couple of notepads and I've got some other little cards down here and one of my vintage glass desktop organizers and the bottom one is empty for now. On the right hand side of the door we've got all of my notebooks, a whole bunch of them more notebooks and a vintage ink well down the bottom because I just thought it would look pretty to have that in here. Let me quickly show you what's in this one. This is a special fountain pen that we bought a long time ago. It's definitely our favorite one. It's a dragon pen. It's so pretty. Yes, it's rather lovely. So I thought I would keep that one in its box because that's probably our most expensive pen. It's a beauty though. Back to this, I've got that dragon fountain pen. This has got some more fountain pens in it. It's a leather case I got from the pen show a few years ago. I've got my traveler's journal. When I find my other two, I will also put them on this shelf. I've got my selections of different inks that I've collected over the years. Some larger notebooks in the middle. Those are my coasters that I painted last year. A few more miscellaneous notebooks down there. And that's pretty much it. I'm really happy I was able to rescue it. And it is absolutely perfect for my studio. I'm excited to have all of my fountain pen inks and books on display. But now they're on display, I hope that I will actually get to use some of these things a bit more. <laughs> so let me know what you think. What would you put in a cupboard like this? There's so many different options. Someone else mentioned watercolors. I did consider that, but really I just wanted to put all of my inks in there. I think this is perfect for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing this wonderful cabinet that I found for free. Hooray! <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button for more videos. And I will see you all again really soon in my next video. I'll swatch you later. Bye!